This is Redstone. Hey guys, XOJet here, and today I have something super awesome to show you guys. This is one of the smallest 3x3s out there. It's not the smallest, but I thought it was worth showing because it's quite nice, and hopefully one of you guys will be able to compact this or something like that. And what's so special about it is the fact that it is 7 wide. It's not the first 7 wide 3x3. Uh, Sydney 600 made the first. 7 wide 3 by 3 that's also 1 wide 7 7 by 1 and this one is 7 by 1 by 14 and it's not the smallest it's two blocks bigger than 96 blocks and uh, there are much much smaller 3 by 3s but they those all use burnouts this does not have any burnouts this is like actual 3 by 3 and so yeah um Sydney 600 he made it regular and I noticed that it was much easier just to make it um, hipster because hipster 3x3s are the solution to everything and so it's very nice closing and opening it's all very nice it's actually very fast um, there is the the re refiring of these pistons but that's okay that's kind of unavoidable. It's very nice. It does not work in bucket, sadly, and it does not work because this redstone dust right here uh, is powering this pist this block, which buds this piston, and it works 100% vanilla, and there's no problems in vanilla at all, but in bucket, there are a few issues with this and this updating, so it doesn't really work in bucket. Works a hundred percent in vanilla, and it's very nice. It's actually quite fast. Um, for like a three by three, it's pretty fast. There, are, there are definitely slower three by threes out there. So yeah, this is ninety eight blocks. Um, and to make it the smallest, which would be ninety one blocks total, ninety one blocks. That is very very small. Uh, you'd have to shave one block off the top or the bottom, you know, one one block height-wise, and that would be the smallest three by three. And I tried, I tried a lot, couldn't quite get it. It was, um, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. And so, yeah, there was lots of problems when making this, and this bottom part right here, um, it's similar to a standard three by three, but, um. Let's see who made it. it. Was Exotic Tank? Uh, he has a YouTube. Go check him out. It's really nice. Doesn't upload too often, but um, we decided to build this, and he made the bottom part. It's really nice. So yeah, if you guys want to build it, it's pretty simple. Not too much to it. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, any any item in the droppers, and you know. It's not exactly resource light, but it's it's okay for a seven wide three by three, which is very very nice. Uh, it's not easy to make seven wide three by three, and so I'm gonna quickly describe how this thing works because it's very interesting. So when I flip this lever, the first thing that's gonna happen is this torch turns on, and well, basically this piston right here will fire, and this piston right here will fire before that one, but it'll fire which will power these side pistons and come down here and it'll power this piston this repeater on two ticks will power this and it will go into this which is like a standard 3x3 closing and the power will come through this four tick repeater into this torch down this piston and power these top two pistons so that's all there is to the closing and then for the opening it's actually quite a lot more interesting so what happens is when I unflick this lever, this right here will unpower and all of this will unpower. So this right here will retract and the storage will will also come back. Then right after this piston right here will come back up, even though it's it's budded, it will update properly. So it'll come back up. This three tick repeater right here will push this block down and come back up. 
So that's the hipster part. That's actually quite standard. There's nothing too special about that. But then this four tick repeater right here will turn off. And this torch, I mean, will turn on. And this torch will turn off. This redstone dust will unpower this block. And because it's butted, it will grab that back. And this right here is actually a mono stable. So right now, this dropper is powering this hopper. So there's an item in here. Then when this comes back down, the item will get placed into the dropper. But when the piston is all the way back, this redstone dust will get powered again, and the dropper will shoot the item back up. And this is actually a dual edge, but because I have a torch here, it stops one of the edges from working, which is good because I had some trouble getting that to work because this would fire twice and it would ruin the bottom part here. And so that part is done, and if I quickly break this, I'll show you guys what happens. So we get that much done, and it's quite nice, but we just need to grab one more block here. And so I send a three tick pulse into this piston. This piston will turn it into a two tick pulse, and this piston right here will turn it into a one tick pulse because of piston timings. It's just how pistons work, and so pistons take 1.5 ticks to extend, so this is actually a very fast pulse that comes through here and that will come up and into this dust and grab the block and because it's a one tick it will not go up this torch so you won't have any problems with that and this is a two tick so that this does not one tick up like that so yeah that's how it works it's actually not too complicated and uh, it didn't work because I didn't put this redstone back so yeah, very nice, very, very interesting. So I don't have too much else to say. It's a little bit derpy, but that's just how it is because I need to grab the block when it's here. It needs to grab this block and the only way I could do it was to like this. And so yeah, this is a 98 block 3x3 three three piston door that's seven wide. Almost the smallest, but not quite there. It does not use burnouts. It is one wide, and it is very, very nice. So I don't have too much else to say, so thanks for watching, and bye.